Oh, I love this. I love this, you guys. We can take our time, be nice and quiet, sneaky sneaky, and put these guys out of our misery, and we don't have to run away. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play on insane difficulty. The designs are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. And we are going to start, in this episode, our very first Tier 5 quest. And also, it'll be our first time out with our new stealth build. So if you didn't catch the last episode, the last episode, basically, we spent the whole episode uh, respecking and re-equipping, um, you know, uh, to get ready for our, our new stealth career here. And so I made a couple of changes from that video. Uh, the first thing that I decided to do... And this might be a mistake, I don't know. I don't think it's a big mistake if it is, but I decided to go with the blue uh, military helmet. I'm I'm sacrificing two armor hit points and two effect resistances for an additional uh, mod slot, and I ended up putting the advanced muffled connectors. Now, the thing I've noticed about the game is that it doesn't tell us here in the stats anything at all about... Uh, you know about stealth it, it shows mobility you can see I have 97% mobility with this build So I, it's almost as if you know, I don't have any any armor on at all in terms of movement. So that's great um, But it doesn't tell me anything about what my actual, you know silence is so I uh, you know I'm, I'm, I just it, I'm, I have to trust that that's that's actually working because there's no not really any indication At least you know in a list like this that tells me you know that it's better um, so we did that. I, I went ahead and made a rad remover mods and reflex sites uh, for the two M MP5s uh, because I want those on there. And then um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and actually take the pistol, the 9mm, with this too. Now the 9 has uh, is loaded with uh, armor piercing rounds. So we're going to use that in the 9 and we'll use the normal ammo for the moment anyways. Because uh, I got a bunch of it, you know, from looting in the MP5s. But I'm in the process, you know, of, of building up gunpowder. And eventually, I'm going to make just nothing but 9mm uh, uh, mm, ammo piercing rounds. Is what my, mo my mind is telling my mouth to say, but my mouth isn't cooperating. Oh, geez, okay. <laughs> um, so we got that. Uh, we do have, you know, we do have these 44, actually 45 with the one loaded uh, steel crossbow bolts. Uh, they they ignore 20% less armor, uh, or 20, minus 20% 20 of the enemy's armor. I promise I'm not drunk. Uh, and a faster projectile uh, velocity. Um, but I don't know how to make these yet. I just bought these off the trader. So we are on the lookout uh, for the schematic for these. We are also on the lookout for the schematic for the silencer, because I would like to put a silencer um, on these weapons. Okay, I think that's the only things that I've done different, uh, you know, when I left you guys off in the last video. We do have uh, a full stack of lockpicks now, and we can make those, uh, so we're no longer going to have to use a uh, an auger to break into safes. I only do have one point in it, though, so we still might break a bunch of them, but who cares? Like, you know, and they're super easy to make, so we're, we're good there. One thing we are going to have to be careful of, though, is our armor rating now is only 60. Whereas when we had the heavier armor on, it was I think it was 70, at least 70, maybe even over 70, uh, when we had all that armor on. So we're going to have to be a little more careful. Plus, we don't, I mean, we do have the MP5s, but we don't quite have the, you know, the punch that we did with the M50 and the 7.62s. So uh, all that to say, I mean, you know, we're still going to get into, we're still going to get rushed. We're still going to get in those oh shit moments because it just happens. But we have to try and be a little more careful and a little more tactical, um, you know, uh, moving forward. Because the enemies are just nasty as all get out. We are game stage, uh, we're game stage 385, guys. <laughs> the enemies are bad. They are really, really nasty. I mean, we have irradiated pretty much nonstop all the time now and ferals and everything. So uh, we're just going to, all, all that to say, we're gonna, you know, I'm going to have to get used to this build. I, I haven't really spent a lot of time in Seven Days to Die with a stealth build. I've mostly been a tanky, you know, run in and blow the shit out of everything, take a few hits in the process kind of player uh, in this game. And, uh, you know, I just, I know with this build, we can't do that. But the trade-off is going to be, you know, we're, we're a lot quieter, we're a lot lighter, we're a lot more mobile. We're going to be able to get a lot more one-shot stealth kills than we were able to. Um, 
you know, and so that, you know, that's going to be the benefit, of course, of, of this bill. Okay, so enough said. Let's go ahead and head on out and do this first tier five. This is a, a fetch quest, which is a good, a good way to start on a tier five. That means we don't have to kill everything in the building. And, you know, all, all of the tier fives are in very large POIs anyway, so it takes a long time to get through them. The other thing that I'm going to probably do as we continue to get more points and we're almost ready to level is I'm going to I'm going to start building up fortitude again so that I can build up pain tolerance because we have less armor than we did before and we're going to try and compensate for that by having more pain tolerance than we did before and maybe even a little more healing factor too. I, I kind of like healing factor three only because once you get to three then the game uh, your character will actually regain you know his health cap so you know that that is really the main reason of course it's always nice to have a little faster automatic healing too but mostly just to get that health cap back so that way we don't ever have to really worry about it again um all right yeah I'm excited guys this is gonna be cool it's it's gonna it's getting close to dark now, darkness is going to be our friend in this, you know, in this, um, uh, with this build. And we do have some perks if we, you know, if we, if we fight in the dark, uh, with some of the magazines, the Night Stalker magazines and whatnot that we've read. I do have those night vision goggles, and we're going to try them at night. Honestly, I haven't really, what the hell is he doing? I haven't really tried them out in Alpha 18. I, I tried them in Alpha 17 and they were just trash in Alpha 17. Because what they did is they turned everything green, but they didn't make anything brighter, which is what they're supposed to do, you know? And so I just, I kind of gave up on them and I haven't used them since. Uh, but we're going to give them another try here in Alpha 18. And we might even, you know, for the sake of immersion, we might even turn the gamma down a little bit at night to make, just to make it really dark. Um, but, and, you know, I will use the night vision goggles to do that because that way, you know, I don't want the video to be too dark because that is not going to work, right? We'll see. We'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I have I have the gamma settings on the normal settings right now. Uh, so those are not, you know, 39 is, is the default. I believe it is, right? Oh, I guess 38 is the default. Close enough, right? Um, so I have those on the default settings. Um, and if, you know, if I don't feel like it's dark enough... If it's not as, you know, doesn't have the immersion that I want it to, you know, then we might turn that down a little bit. We'll see. Um, okay, so we need to go. Where do we need to go? Let's take a look on the map. Uh, all the way over there. Okay, wow. That's a long ways over. All right, let's cross over this way. All right, here we go. The hospital. I have never tried to solo this. I've done it uh, on multiplayer with other people. I think on Alpha 18, definitely on Alpha 17, but I've never tried to solo it, so this is going to be interesting. Now, one of the things I want to do, too, before we get in there, is let's go ahead and bring some land claim blocks with us, just because, you know, we want to, um, man, look how fast I'm moving now compared to the, how, how I used to. <laughs> I noticed the difference. I don't know if you guys do, but I surely, surely do. Um, anyway, let's use some land claim blocks so that we can... You know, just use that to, to block passageways and, and make choke points and stuff. Just because I'm a little, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit concerned about how much more squishy. Ooh, I don't want 10 of those. Good Lord. Let's make, I don't know, four. I'm a little bit concerned about how squishy I am now. Um, you know, and so I just want to use every advantage. But we're also, like I said, we're not going to go in and just go guns blazing either. We are going to actually try and be a stealthy as we can now we could actually try and double loot this place because um, it's actually not that hard to get to if we can get to it without waking the dead liter quite literally the fat loots are on this side of the building up near the top
I'm not... There, there's very likely a Zeker in there. I'm not hearing the usual growl that they make when they start to wake up, which is a good sign. Okay. Let's put our uh, luckies on. Nice. That's pretty decent loot. You know what I was thinking too, guys? After we do this tier 5 quest, I think I'm actually going to hit some of the library skyscrapers. Just because we need those extra schematics. We need this, the silencer schematic. We need the steel crossbow schematic. Yeah, me looting this is not seem to be making any noise. They're not stirring, in other words. Because uh, they're right above me. Right up on that roof there. Um, okay, so the, here, let's open this. Because we can use lockpicks. And I don't think that's going to make any noise. Or at least not enough to, that we need to worry about it. Awesome. Okay. We're going to just consume that. We're going to scrap that right out of the chute, and we'll keep the rest of this stuff for selling. That's almost... Yeah, we'll sell that, too. Okay, so that all went well. They heard that. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, they heard that thing close. Now, the question is, can I break these boxes without alerting them? All right, that's not bad. That only made 14 noise. I think that would have made quite a bit more than that with our previous build. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay, we don't... We're not going to take the plastics. Yeah, not, that that's, that's really good. Okay, so we just ding two. All right, let's use that for the XP. This... I think... Can we sell those? I know we can't sell, like, a whole mini bike. I don't know, I'll keep it. That's pretty pretty decent price. We'll see if we can. Um, we'll s toss this in favor of the glue. Okay. Here we go. Our first tier 5 quest as a stealthy assassin zombie killer. Okay, let's turn our light out. When it gets uh, when it gets full on dark, we'll put the night vision goggles on and see uh, how that goes. Oh, you know what? I might want to drop some of this crap off too, huh? Let's do this. Now the cool thing is, particularly for normal Z's, but remember we've got we've got maximum armor penetration and we got armor penetrating. <gasps> excuse me, steel crossbow bolts. So even you know even the the heavy duty guys, we could probably. If we don't take them out, we're going to at least put the herd on them. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the beauty of stealth kills. It's awesome. Okay. Let's not loot every single thing, too. We don't really need to. I mean, we, we are in such good shape in terms of supplies and resources. What I really need more than anything else is, uh, you know, schematics at this point. In the game here. I would like to harvest the brass though. We're, we're always going to need brass. We don't need any of that stuff. So when I open this, watch my stealth meter in the lower left hand corner. Okay, so that only makes nine points of noise. I'm going to take this because it's so rare and I'll... I think that's outside. Uh, we can step on garbage without making noise, I think? Let's double check that. Is that a, a wasteland survival? Or wasteland treasures? Harvest coins? No, that's not. Uh, is it Night Stalker? Yeah, see, we got a lot of Night Stalker stuff. 10% more sneak damage at night. See, sneak 5% better at night. See, this is the one thing, one thing that I was thinking about of maybe doing bladed weapons. But actually, no, a spear is a bladed weapon. What am I thinking? It is. I'm, I'm almost positive a spear is going to be considered a blade weapon, I think. I hope. We'll see. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Bows do 10% more damage. Um, you know, getting, getting the bonus for all of them, though. Sneak attacks with knives at night. See, now that could be that could be really good. 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims. Uh, all good stuff there. But anyway, one of these things, I'm trying to th remember which one it is. 
lets us walk over trash without it triggering. The Great Heist. To use no stamina fall to, 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 to craft time charges. I mean, it makes noise when we step on it. Let's watch the stealth meter. Hmm, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. I'll have to, ooh, I'll have to look that up later. But you know what? In our previous build, that would have woken this guy up. But now we're going to put him to sleep forever. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's continue on here. Nice and quiet-like. The hospital now has a basement in it, whereas as it didn't before. You know what I should probably be doing, you guys? I should probably be using these arrows on non-armored targets to save our steel arrows. So yeah, let's do that. So we'll use the iron arrows for the non-armored targets. Um. Okay, so the light's indicating we're supposed to go down the basement, but our thingamadoodle is going to be up high. Let's just look in here. That door's locked. Is there anything else that we... Oh, I was going to see if I could harvest this. <sighs> this is going to make a shitload of noise. But remember, everything we do is 50% less, so let's try it. 23 points. Yowzers, that was loud. <laughs> okay, that was loud. All right, did we miss anything important over here? This must be like the ER. We absolutely do not need iron, but we do need brass. And we get brass by taking the... Oh, you know what? I wonder if the flaming mod on here is not the best idea. <laughs> Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, because if you look at my stealth meter, it's all the way back down to four. Does it make a difference? It makes one point of difference. Okay, so that that's not significant. I'm not worried about that. I'm just throwing all this out for the sake of space, but I do want the brass. Oh, wow. Look at that guy sitting right there, man. Oh, we would have so woken him up before. Oh, man. Second night, Gracie. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I should have checked to see if I could get my crossbow bolts, uh, my steel crossbow bolts off those other guys. Their corpses are probably gone, and the bolts are probably gone, too. Yeah. I'll have to try and remember to do that next time. All right. This is this is fun. Nothing in there. Oh, I gotta love this stealth build. Okay, can we open this door? Yes, we can. Look, there's a Zeke right there. Are we going to wake her up? That made 22 points of noise. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. You know what would be cool? Is if the game had some kind of a mod or a, or a perk that you could get that would allow you to actually detect the zombies, you know, like a... Uh, an infrared heat detector, something like that. Though zombies probably aren't very hot. They're probably ice cold. Any chance there's somebody behind that curtain? Nope. <laughs> okay. Check for a toilet pistol. I said I wasn't going to loot everything under the sun, huh? Yeah, we don't need coffee. We got coffee for days. Does this vending machine work? It does. Does it have dog... It does have dog food. We don't have any coinage with us. Because you need the dog food to make the, the XP elixir stuff. All right. If I remember, which I probably won't, but if I remember, we'll come back to that later. Okay, let's sneak on down here. You know, the other thing that occurred to me, too, is my new skills might automatically negate walking over trash. I don't know. We'll just assume at this point that it doesn't, and if we're wrong about that, then we'll, you know, we'll know for next time. 
Okay, it's kind of dark down here. I mean, it's not that dark. I can see fine, but it's probably going to be dark on the video. Okay, now it just turned night. So let's see if it gets even a little bit darker. So what if we... Yeah, it's getting a little darker. Let's, let's just try these and see what they do. All right, that's not too bad. Actually, that that's good. Actually, that's a lot better. They they definitely improve the. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, look at that, you guys. They definitely improve these. These are a lot better than they were in Alpha Seventeen. Lot lot better. Oh yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it because now we can use them and they they actually work. All right, we're gonna have some picking off to do now. If we happen to wake everybody up. What is our plan? What's our backup plan? Run back up the stairs and block this passage. Of course, this is... Now, we need, like, a single door. Oh, yeah, we can run into that room and block that passage. That's what we'll do. So let's get this on our toolbar uh, so it's ready to go in case we need it. That's assuming we wake them up. I mean, we should be able to pick them all off one by one. Quiet. We should be able to pick them off all one off by one all off one by one without waking the others up. That's the theory, anyways. And it not these two are not armored, so we don't have to worry about armor piercing. Okay, here we go. See the thing about that is <laughs> when you kill them like that, it makes so much noise. You'd think it would wake the others up, but apparently the game doesn't register that as noise. Oh, I love this. I love this, you guys. We can take our time, be nice and quiet, sneaky sneaky, and put these guys out of our misery, and we don't have to run away. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Um, that's probably all the Zeeks. Th oh, nope. All the Zeeks that were up in the roof, anyway. We're doing 4x sneak damage bonus. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, nope, there's more Zeekers up there. Our stealth meter. Our stealth meter's nice and, uh, you know, it's down at 1. And it only sneaking around. Yeah, it goes up a little bit, but not that bad. Not that bad. Let's get our crossbow bolt away from him. Okay, so... We could sneak up into the ceiling, just poke our head up there. There could be another Zeke, but there might also be something worth looting up there. Before we do that, though, let's just kind of peek our head around the corner, make sure there's nobody else in here. Nope, I think we're good. I'm almost wondering if I should put the 2x scope instead of the 4x on here. Because, you know, anything long, really long range that we're going to do, we're going to use this gun for. I don't know. I mean, this is working, so we'll see. We'll keep it. We'll keep it for now, and we'll see how things go. If it, if it hasn't, if it's not already obvious, I'm <laughs> I'm really enjoying this stealth build so far. Oh, you know what? There could be Zeeks in there, huh? Okay. Well, here. Let's uh, just be quiet about this. That makes ten points of noise. Okay, nobody up here and nothing up here. That makes no noise going down. Cool. Okay, let's continue on here. That door is locked. Okay, there's a Zeeker over there and a Nurse Zeke there. All right, let's take her out first. Squish. And one here. Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. You guys are probably getting tired of me hearing me say that. <laughs> it really is fun, though. Okay, are there anybody... Is there anybody up in the ceiling? Are you... Is there another sleeper 
Under. Did I kill her? I did now. I did now. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that a Zeke up there? No, it's a cobweb. Okay, I think we've cleared the room. I uh, don't need any of that stuff. Ooh, that's loud. That we want. Don't want this stuff. I should probably just hang on to that until we need to drop stuff. That's a sink. Uh, where is my wrench? Wrench, wrench, wrench. Where are you, wrench? You know what we're probably not going to use in here is the marksman rifle. Not likely, so let's keep that off the toolbar so that way we can keep the wrench and the land claim block down here. So we get the brass from this. Remember, I've got a full row of coffee. Well, actually, I guess I have a half row of coffee back at the base, and so we don't need to collect the grounds anymore. I mean, we our food troubles are over for the rest of this playthrough. Absolutely over. Oh, I'm going to take both of those. Here, let's get rid of the flaming thing because it gets a little too bright. I'll grab that stuff. Uh, college jacket. I already have one of those, and these are just normal running shoes, so... Yeah, let's scrap those. Oh, you know what I am on the lookout though, a uh, lookout for, is dark dyes. Um, I had two black dyes back at the base. This is just role-playing stuff. It doesn't really matter for reals. It would if this was PvP, but it's not. Uh, and, you know, I'm wearing the college jacket because it's got the 10% run speed, and I dyed it black, and it looks black here, but it's still white here, so it's kind of stupid. So we're just going to pretend that the whole thing's black, but eventually I want to make sure that my entire armor set is black, or at least, you know, as dark as it can be. So let's... um. Let's take the, the blue off of here. I'm not sure how dark that's going to actually be, but we'll just uh, put it on there. Okay, yeah, that works. That definitely makes us darker. So we'll try and get our whole character as dark as we can get him. You know, because he's a stealth guy. Stealthy stealth. All right, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing. I know that's making a shitload of noise, but... Um, yeah, I've got stacks and stacks of feathers. Just don't need it. Just don't need them. All right, so let's see. We... Do we need to go this way? Let's come back here for a minute. Yeah, we got the light pointing to that door, so... That is my assumption. We got another vending machine. Uh, well, salmon we can use for fish tacos. So I might come in here later off camera with some money and, and get that stuff. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, I think we're what we have to do is we have to get up there. Now usually, yeah, the game gives us a way to do that without nerd pulling. And that way is right here. Plus there's a light there too. I wonder what the hell that was. I mean, it was a zombie, but why? Why? <laughs> okay, let's go in here, nice and quiet, like. Okay, we got a sleeper down there. It'll be it'll be fun, you know, when we can uh, use a silencer on a pistol too. I don't think we can get any quieter than the crossbow, though. Are there any Zikaruskis down below that we can snipe before we go down ourselves? Yeah, give me my crossbow back and quit doing that. That's inappropriate. I hear a lot of footsteps outside. Okay, that goes out into the next room. Um, I'm thinking the quest probably wants us to go that way, though. Or the pathway. 
All right, you know, I don't think we really need anything in washing machines. Let's get the brass from here. I'm I'm really um I'm really happy that these uh night vision goggles work now and they're actually useful. That made 18 points of stealth noise. Let's just kind of sneak in here. And uh, this whole basement area that we're in right now, this is all new. This wasn't in Alpha 17's version of the hospital. So that's kind of cool. Oh. Those those guys must have just spawned in. I would think. Wonder if there's anybody over on the other side of that. All right, let's do let's do a little test here. I'm going to get the the MP5 out. I'm going to step on this trash and just see if if it makes them stir at all. It's, it made eight points of stealth noise. Try it again. Now they're not stirring, so I I I'm I almost rem I'm, I'm almost positive I read that magazine or book or whatever it was. I just can't figure out what the hell it is. Um. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's just move on. Oh, I hit her foot. All right, we should probably... We might have to wait for her to, to despawn. Because I keep... I, I think I'm hitting the foot of the corpse. Let's try it again. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Okay. Now there might be someone right around this corner here. There is. Look at that. And it's a glower. Um all right, so since we have a glower before here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch to our steel crossbow bolts for the armor penetration. And I don't know, maybe the irradiated don't have uh, armor by virtue of being irradiated. Maybe it's... I can't quite tell which seeker that is. I think that might be Little Mama, but I'm not sure. Before we take that seeker out, though, I want to go in here and make sure that we can escape into this room safely if we don't kill that in one shot, which we may not. Can I put the rad remover on the crossbow? <laughs> I never thought about that. I should be able to, huh? All right, let's here. Let's try something here real quick. Let's pull it off the pistol for the moment. I can. All right, you know what I'm going to do when we get back to the base is we're going to make a rad remover and we're going to replace the hunter mod because I don't really need the hunter mod in here. I just put it on there because it gave me a couple more damage points. Um. So yeah, let's uh let's do that right now. And I don't have a rad remover on here, do I? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it off the second MP5 uh, because you only need to hit him once with the rad remover. I'm gonna put this on because notice it's still gonna give me two, you know, actually three more points of damage. Um, we might still end up using our pistol in here, so I want a rad remover on there. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that. You only have to hit them once, and then it disables their regeneration for 90 whole seconds. So even if we got into an oh shit situation, we spray them with this one with rad remover, and then we finish them off with this one if we, you know, if it comes down to that. Okay, let's reload everything now that we screwed them up with the the mods. Excuse me. Okay, so now. If we don't kill that guy in the first shot, 
Oh, shit, there's another irradiated up there. But we can't run into here and start making a bunch of gun noise. So what's our, what's our fallback plan? See, this is why I was saying, you know, we need to have, we need to use better tactics. Our fallback plan is to run into here and then put down the, the LC block. Okay, that's our fallback plan. All right, let's see if we can one-shot this guy. You know, the other thing I'm going to do, too, is close that door so that way that other Zeker can't come. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did it. That was a that was a one shot if I ever saw one. Okay, cool. I just didn't know because these guys are so tough, you know? These guys are so tough. We probably wouldn't have been able to do it if it would have been like a biker or something, but... Okay, now let's see if we can one shot this one. This is a little girl zombie. We should be able to get her. Or not. Okay. Let's put that there. And let's see if we can melee her just so we don't make a bunch of noise. I'm gonna turn this off too, because it's so bright. Alright, that went well. That went well. It's kinda of, kinda of spooky down here with the flames, huh? <laughs> That's nice lighting effects. Nice lighting effects. Okay. Let's put that back on, and we'll remove those. Oh! Lordy, that's loud. It's loud to me. It's not loud in the game. Okay, so we didn't, uh... We didn't manage to one-shot her, but we managed to one-shot him, so maybe we just got a little lucky with that one... Sh the first time around. I'm thinking. Look at all the dudes up there. Wow, okay, um... Is there any more up in this roof? I don't think so. Up, uh, roof, ceiling. Roof, ceiling, ceiling, roof. Okay, so let's see. We can't really snipe through. I mean, we could possibly hit him and her. She's a feral. Um, But the nice thing about being in here is, you know, we can block this door with a land claim. Which, by the way, we should put a new one down here. Let's just get rid of that. And we could even retreat through this door if, if things really went bad, but I, I don't think we would need to. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can sniper doodle her from here. Beautiful. Um, Can we... Okay, that's a non-irradiated. We could get to this guy's head. We have Cripple him on here too, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right. Well, let's just shoot this guy and see what happens. Okay, so we only aggroed him. Where did he go? Hmm. I wonder if there's another if there's another drop through into the rub rub bar grub bar <laughs> rub bar. I was I was thinking, man, rub bar? What the hell? A uh, grub bar. And he dropped inside of there because you know he's he would have been over here by now if he could get over here. All right, let's go through here. And let's see if we can take out... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to hit that one's head from this angle. What about this one here? Yeah, this one we should be able to get. Oh, there's glass right there. Glad I just noticed that. The rub bar. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, let's take this guy out. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Is this a thing? Why can't I put a... Oh, I don't know. We better get in here, though. We know we can put one there. I, I don't, I'm not sure why I wasn't able to put one there. 
Okay, well, time to put our spear to use. We've got a ma maxed out skill in this spear. It's maxed out mods. It's a purple spear. So we should be able to do pretty good damage to these guys. Okay. We got really good reach with this, too. That's one of the things you get, you know, for the maxing out the the skill in it. All right, I guess that takes care of everybody in this room. We definitely got the attention of some of the outside residents. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it was blocking me from putting it down here. That didn't make sense to me, but whatever. What the hell? They're back? Or are those different ones? I'm confused. <laughs> I was gonna say, did we kill her or not? Oh, I hit the glass. <laughs> okay. So, we just got her to deal with, so let's just hit her with this. Because she's already softened up from our... There we go. Do we get somebody else's attention? I'll try and remember to turn off the night vision guys when I have the flaming weapons up, because I know it's really bright. Okay, we got a normal Hawaii 5-0. I think we can spare him. Ha <laughs> ha, yes we can. He did take the door out, though, so that's not good. Alright, let's move on through here. We still have that guy, but his, head, his head's facing the other direction. You know... There's, it's funny too, because in the Shamway factory POI, there's a, there's one up there too. What? <laughs> I didn't do it. it wasn't me. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is in the Shamway factory, I've seen that happen before where it's, it's almost like the Zeeks have a, a time to live or something and then they just keel over. Anyway, um, when you go into the cafeteria in that building, it's also like completely loaded with Zeekers up in the ceiling, just like this place is. So let's see if we can sneak around here and get to that guy's head. There we go. Say goodnight, Gracie. He's a feral, too. All right, and then we got these guys over here. Look at that. Are you feral? No, you're normal, so let's save... A steel crossbow, bolt, and go with an iron. Man, I don't like the no the sounds I'm hearing outside there. We got a bear, a zombie, a dog. Okay, is that it? Is that it for these guys? Up in the ceiling here. I think the one guy fell into the to, to the rub bar, <laughs> but he's not. Uh, I don't hear him in there anymore. Oh, we do have one more. Is he a normal Zeker or a feral? I th think he's a normal. I think he's a normal. Uh, yeah. So let's go with an iron. It's not going to give our bolt back. All right, it looks like we've got the ceiling cleared. As far as I can tell. Trying to see if there's anything in the rub bar. Oh, we... We can't... That dog sounds like he's in the building. Oh, he is in the building. 
They must have broke through. Hmm, that makes me a little nervous because there was like a bear and stuff out there too. Um, all right, well, what is, here, let's turn this off. It's starting to get light too, so we might not need to use our night vision during the day. I'm just trying to see what's in there. It looks like there's a sink, but there's also an exit that goes somewhere too, so maybe we should try and open this. Okay. Just trying to see. Yeah, you know what? We might still use this even during the day, at least when we're in darker places like this. I can see okay, but I know it's going to be kind of dark on the video, so as long as it doesn't get too overpowering, we can still use this. What woke her up? Where in the hell did that dog come from? I'm a little bit concerned about that. Are these... Do these Zeekers, like, break through from the outside? Or are they the ones we heard out there? There was a bear that we heard. What is she doing? Where'd she go? She was just... Wait a minute, what? She was just walking right there. Where, where did she go? Oh, 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 there's a hallway over there. Okay. Here, let's that's getting a little bit bright. Let's turn that off. I don't want to turn my light on though. Somebody's walking on gravel like right above me. Okay, we need to take this seeker out because I don't want one wandering around while we're trying to do our thing. <laughs> 